Doreen Grand-Pichet is the Dr. Doreen is an expert in autism. Doreen Grand-Pichet. Dr. Grand-Pichet. Dr. Doreen Grand-Pichet. Dr. Doreen Grand-Pichet Grand is a visionary in the field of autism. Now you can ask her questions on Ask Dr. Doreen. But I want to get to this one. Uh, oh, dear. I There's so many coming in, right? I know. My daughter is currently in a class for autism and dyslexia formality, and her professor is playing videos on how uh, to work, uh, how these work. His suggestion is a sensory room for the classroom. But if you have um, an autistic student mainstreamed with 30 other students, what can a teacher do to help that one? It's interesting. I had somebody call me with exactly that the other day. Yeah, I mean, that's a, that's a really good question. I, it depends on what you need out of the sensory room because always there, it is possible that someone can always take the child to another part of the school, whether it's outside, if the sensory room is needed for calming down, there are lots of other environments that could be used for that. Uh, for instance, the library when kids are in class is usually very, very quiet. Uh, maybe there's a nice area outside which is calming. There's other things that could be done to, to kind of help with that. I, it really depends on the sensory needs and exactly what you're looking for. But if I were you, I would put that on the school and I would force them kind of like persist in pushing them to find a solution for you. I think we've lost your voice. No, I muted myself and then I pushed the wrong button again. I'm doing really well with the buttons today. Forgive me. I'm a work in progress. Uh, I also want to encourage you because I'm not sure whether you're saying that your daughter is in a class to learn how to be a teacher or she's in a classroom and she is the student and the professor is recommending. But either way, I'm going to say to you that as a former teacher, I love Pinterest and Pinterest is full of amazing ideas. And there's a whole section of Pinterest that shows you how to, how to set up a sensory room within a classroom, depending on the age, like when it's kindergarten, it's, you know, it's a little hut. And when it's fifth grade, it's a reading nook. And, you know, so I, I want to encourage you to look at Pinterest and get ideas because teachers are on Pinterest and teachers are sharing what they're doing that's working on Pinterest. So check it out. It's free. Um, uh, Pinterest should pay me because I say nice things about them. But I know. <laughs> um, and by the way, Autism Live has a Pinterest board too. And whenever, like in COVID, we put a whole bunch of things that you could do with your kids, kiddos at home on our Pinterest board. So there you go. Thanks for watching Autism Live. If you found anything helpful in this video, please give us a like. In fact, make sure that you smash that subscribe button on YouTube and give us a like on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram for important updates. And please download our free podcast wherever you get your podcasts. See you next time. Until then, give your kiddos a hug from me and one for you too. Bye-bye for now. To subscribe, click here. And if you'd like to check out some more of our videos, click here.